Hi guys. Adam, Elizabeth, and Miss Zoe here, and we're happy Holland and congratulations. Today is the last day of 2021. Hope that you've had a fantastic year. Happy New Year's Eve. Yes. And this is the last video that we will do for the year 2021. It's, it's kind of crazy. An exciting year, starting a YouTube channel, all other events that I'm sure happened in everyone's life. It's just been quite the year. Um, hey, I got a promotion this year. Well, congratulations, my love. <laughs> okay, so before we get into the haul, if you are not currently subscribed, please consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell and YouTube will let you know every time we post a video. And don't forget to smash that like button. Also, stick around to the end of the video when we ask our question of the day. And we're gonna get into this haul. So I already gave you guys, basically I told you that it's a Valentine's haul. That's what it is. So let's get right into it. Waste no more time. This looks like a lot of stuff. So first of all, I had to get these cute little lip pop lollipops. You get a pack of four. It looks like you get a purple, green, red, and pink lips. My kids love these. I buy them for every season. They've had Christmas ones. They've had Halloween ones. They're adorable. Plus they have regular like animal ones that you can find all all the time at Dollar Tree. So they have like the plastic lips and then the lollipop on the other side. And then I found some adorable, they're calling these mm. DIY pins. I picked up the lips. They also had hearts and I believe they had another one. I can't recall what it was though. They're just cute. I have no idea what I'm gonna use them for, but why not? You're gonna make some sort of garland or something with them. Maybe. And then they had stampers again. These are Valentine's ones. And if you, yeah, there we go. Let's see if we can get an angle on what that says. There we go, XOXO. And then they, this one says, love never fails. And then on this end, we have hugs. You rock. You rock. And then a kill truck. A truck with a heart on it. Okay. That is my favorite favorite one favorite. and I found these little sequins they're unicorns but you get a four pack so one is gold one is pink one is kind of that like pearly color and then you get a multicolored one how cute are these and so then you can just like hot glue them on something embellish those are cool whatever you feel they also had um, like stars. I didn't see any hearts, but it looked like there was an empty space already in my Dollar Tree. So they could have like a heart one since it is Valentine's Day. What are you gonna put those on that your daughter will love? I haven't come up with what I'm gonna do yet. We'll see. Um, I picked up these wooden sticks. It's a 20 pack, so here is what the pack looks like, but they're like toothpick hearts. And honestly, I got these. First of all, you could use them for like food, like cheese, whatever, if you're having a gathering. I was thinking you can put them on top of a cupcake. Or on top of a cupcake. I'm not gonna do either of those. I'm actually gonna kind of put them throughout the house. I have the house back to non-Christmas decor. I took it all down and put it away and that was quite the task. But I have. I all, helped put it away. He though. did. He did. But I have all my like regular greenery out, and instead of like changing everything again for all the seasons, I'm just gonna embellish what I already have. And I thought these were adorable, and they're nice and small, so it'll just be a cute little subtle change. I know how I the crinkling have. of the packages is really good for the video quality. So I did pick up two of those. So you know what? We may have enough that we could do some cupcakes. We shall see. Yeah. And then I got each of the kids these color your own, um, what are those called? I think you just call this paddle, paddle ball. Bo oh, okay. I was gonna say paddle board. So they have, I got or this that. one for Emmy, sweet love. And then I got, oh. found this dino for Addison. That's a cupcake. Look at that. You are dino mites. How cute. Nice. They're gonna, gonna love that. Love it. 
And then I also got this pack of six heart straws. You get two pink, two red, and two yellow. Thought those were cool. Nice. The kids will also enjoy those. <clears throat> and I picked up some pencils. I got two different packs. So these ones are, I think I got these ones more for Emmy because they had the unicorns, they have got, sloths. Yeah. And then puppy dogs. dogs. And, uh, yeah, there's cats. Yep. And then these pretty sparkly blue ones. Oh, I love those. And then I got these ones for Addison. Even though they have this pink, I'm, I'm sure that our kids will just They'll just swap, swap the sparkly ones. But there's a little dinosaur one, cars. And then a space one. And space, yeah, that's kind of interesting. I how... thought that was a cool pack. Those it are... is odd that they would put pink with all the yeah. boys ones and blue with all the more girl type ones, but whatever. I did pick up, they have ornaments. Valentine ornaments. What are you gonna hang them on? Well, I think we're gonna hang those ones outside on the little tree that you hung the Christmas ones oh, on. Oh, wait, did we get the ornaments off of it? Not yet. We've only taken down the inside of the house. Outside, the outside still is Christmas. still Christmas. But all the neighbors are too, so. So we're in the Christmas club, I guess. Plus not all of the snow is melted, so. That's true. Most of it, but not all of it. In our neighborhood, most of it's gone. So I did pick up this pack of four Smarties, Smarty Hearts. Um, and these are larger box. So I was at Walmart the other day and they started getting their Valentine's items in as well. And I don't think they're hearts though. They just have- Oh, love hearts. They're, okay. they're, they are still circular, but they have things printed on them like the hearts would. Yeah, so when I was at Walmart, they had the, um, conversation hearts you know the traditional rocks and the price has gone up on them there those are a dollar 25 and you get five and they're like the tiniest little boxes i was like well i'd rather get this four pack at dollar tree yeah plus i think smarties taste better i do still like those hearts even though they're not the greatest just saying okay noted your valentine is noted and look at these! Ah! So, so Valentine bags. Gift bags. So these, there's a, it's a two pack. I got the red ones. He's holding the pink ones. These are actually quite large. These are nine inches by seven inches. You get two of them. I think you just said two pack. I did. And you know what? I could hot glue on the um, unicorn little embellishment on Emmy's bag. So I'll have to mm. see if they have another one that I could find for Addison's. But I thought these were so cool. So we're gonna put our children's Valentine's in there. Yeah, because my bag better be much larger. Okay. I just kidding. Are you really though? And then I found some yard signs. We've got so. a little truck here filled with hearts. Heartbreaker. That's pretty cool. And this one says, struck by love, adorable. And then this one says, follow your heart. And hold on, I think if you really didn't want to use these as stakes, I think you can get the stake out of there and then fold this little metal thing oh, there and then you have yeah. a hook. Yep. So. I mean, it's just like, glued in there. You could probably break that off really yeah, easy. Yeah, the glue would come off really easy, so if you didn't have a place to stake it and you had a place to hang it, you could totally do that with those. Do we want to stake those or hang those? I'll get back to you on that. We'll probably want to stake them. And then these are the last items of the haul. They're getting their window clings. So I picked this cutesy cute one for Miss Emmy Girl. She loves those little kitties she and doggies. She will absolutely be and they're cute ones. gaga over that. And then this one for Addison. Look at the little dinosaurs. So cute. He is going to love this. You are dynamite. Terrific. And then this is for me to put in the kitchen window that we have. I thought those were cute. They did have quite a few designs. I just didn't want to go too crazy. So. All you need is love. 
So love is all you need. Those are my Valentine's items that I found, and I'm sure that they're gonna keep putting more and more and more out, and I will be purchasing more and more and more. But that for now, us, this is a good. It brings good us to the question of the okay, day. Okay, what's the question? So I also <clears throat> I have a question. My question is, since in a matter of hours we're going to be in a new year, how many of you guys, A, decide to have a New Year's resolution? If you do decide to do that, what is your New Year's resolution for this next year of 2022? Do you do one or have one? I think that you know that I don't do resolutions. <laughs> I do know that. <laughs> uh, I don't do resolutions, but I do... Goals? Goals. Okay, so what's goals. the goal for the new year? I it always has to be story time though, first. It doesn't have story, to be, but you Story just... time is that, what year was it, 2019? I decided I was gonna write a feature length screenplay and I did do it. 20... 20, I don't think I set one at all. 2020. That's okay, 2020. 2020 had a, I, w I was like, joy I was changing into a new department, so I had a lot going on around like, mm -hmm. figuring out what, what I do now, right? 2021, I feel like it didn't even happen. Just so fast. I was too busy to, to have any goals. And? 2022. Okay. I got some goals. I want to get some certifications. For work. For work. Okay. Uh, I could tell, I could say what they are, but like, no, for, you don't need to for the people watching, they most of you probably won't know or care. How many certifications is your goal? How many different just, ones? Just one. I, if I can get one, I think that'd be good. Oh, okay. Because I'm pretty busy. You said certifications. That's okay, why sorry. If I can do more than one, that'd be awesome. But okay. What are your resolutions or goals? Well, first of all, some years I make them and some years I don't. So it really just depends on if there's something that I feel like should, we could justify that as a resolution kind of situation. Um, but I, I don't necessarily have a resolution. I think that this is probably just a life view just to continue trying to be happy and have more patience. You know, sometimes it's hard when you are a homeschool mom and your husband doesn't have to go anywhere for work. Life has been a change the last two years and I truly do love it, but just to have more patience and make 2022 the best year yet. That's all we can do, right? Mm -hmm. So. I set a goal only for professional, but maybe I should set one for personal. To have more patience too. I wasn't gonna say that. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say that, no. I just think, uh, you know, doing more outdoorsy stuff. Oh gosh. Addison really likes fishing. I wanna, I wanna fish with him, so we're, I'm gonna. So maybe some more father-son bonding. I gotta have stuff with Emmy too. She likes to be inside. Oh, she likes to be anywhere I am. She'll go. Actually, she said she wants to go fishing. And Papa bought her a fishing pole. I know I was there. So we're gonna we're gonna fish. Okay. So on that note, I cannot wait to read if you have a New Year's resolution and what it is if you do have one. And we hope that you have a fantastic New Year's. Uh, we will see you again on Monday and it will be 2022. I can't even believe it. So happy New Year to everyone. Stay happy, stay healthy, and happy Holland. Bye guys.